It's April 23rd, 2024. I'm over here at Kaiser Elementary and I'm subbing elementary music today. Well, it kind of started out in this room again, but I'm probably going to end up in here. Subbing here last minute, elementary music, it was like a, an emergency assignment and I uh, went ahead and uh, accepted it. So I'm doing like uh, two third grade classes today. So the first class out of three uh, did not come because otherwise they would have been for 20 minutes. By Fortuity, I'm actually subbing for that third grade teacher who didn't come on Thursday. And she happens to have a piano in her room because I subbed for her before last year. So it's just going to be a melodious week this week. So it started out with singing a whole bunch of nursery rhymes and a patriotic song and then uh, a game of hot potato and then I was trying to teach a little bit of music theory. Uh, they kind of got it at the end. And then a little practice with beat and rhythm and then I think uh, another game of hot potato somewhere in there. Uh, but it was excellent and can't wait for the second one. And so the final class just left just now. We just did uh, patriotic songs and nursery rhymes, hot potato, and then just a couple of magic tricks. Again, it's not real magic, I tell them that. Uh, so uh, glad that I was here today, uh, very thankful, and I can't wait for the next time that I'm here, which is going to be Thursday, and I know where I'm going to be tomorrow too. April 24th, 2024, I'm over here at Tewinkle Middle School. I'm subbing math again today. It's always good to be back. A couple of the students were asking me who I'm subbing for. I said this teacher. So her math class is behind me and her other class for the first two periods, design modeling, is just across the way. So the day's going okay, uh, students really like to talk, but uh, for periods of four and five, which are the math periods, um, I got to do a little uh, teaching, and that was very fun, so they're very respectful for that part. Um, period three, I was just, uh, that was also math, but I didn't get to see this beforehand, but periods four and five I got to. And it was all about proportional relationships. So there's one more period, robotics, and then I'm done for the day. It's April 25th, 2024. I'm over at Kaiser Elementary again, subbing third grade. I just ran into my, uh, my former principal from Newport Heights Elementary. He's now um, up in the district uh, with a, a doctorate in education, so we're just uh, catching up. I was telling him that last night I just completed everything for the master's degree, so every single thing is completed for the master's degree. May 2nd is the big day for the commencements, so I'm very excited for this day. Part of why I'm really enjoying this day is because she has a piano and I supped for her last year so I knew that she had a piano and it's been very melodious because we're singing like a lot of patriotic and nursery rhymes. In fact, we're doing the Star Spangled Banner and a lot of the students actually stood up and put their hand over their heart to sing along and they're singing very excellently and I've just been doing that throughout the day as well as uh, the tricks that uh, they earned and then uh, we uh, did other things like writing, uh, reading and writing about Benjamin Franklin and math. I got to teach on perimeter and area and, and go over a, a math packet and then recycling. In fact, a lot of students recognized me to an extent. I did a couple of assemblies over at Woodland, and a few of the students here have younger siblings over there. In fact, one student um, here, her birthday was April 15th, and her uh, younger sibling was over there. I told them that hopefully I'll be doing an assembly here, either this academic year or next. And a couple of students were saying, my older brother or sister had a sub who did like magic tricks and all that stuff, so it was probably me. So I surmised that they heard about the sub, magician, again, I tell them it's not real magic, they're just illusions. And now they have me as a sub, so again, they're very respectful and kind, and I was showing them a lot of tricks throughout the day. Uh, so far, so good, it's lunchtime. Um, I was uh, tickling the ivories in a sixth grade class uh, went by and I subbed for this teacher before last year. He was walking back to his classroom and he said that it sounded like it was a concert in here. So I'm like, oh, thanks. So I'd say a very uh, peaceful conclusion to this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to sub tomorrow. If I do, it would have to be an afternoon half day because tomorrow morning I'm going to be on live television again in Alabama this time on television news doing an interview for my new book, Unstoppable. And so it's a great day so far. I'm sure it will be great for the rest of the day. It's April 26, 2024. I'm back over here at Kaiser Elementary for the third time this week and I'm subbing a half day for fifth grade again. And so this is the third time this year that I am subbing for this fifth grade class and uh, this is a very good class uh, both times that I subbed for them. And uh, the television interview went amazing. It was like three minutes, just uh, questions, answers, questions, answers, questions, answers. 
and I, I do feel uh, very confident uh, these days. I, uh, they sent me um, like a downloadable link, and so I'll probably upload that soon. But it was Fox 6 in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, it was just very cordial. And I got to share that I'm the author to Unstoppable, which is my new book. In fact, I just uh, made and uploaded an ad that I you know, spent several, several hours on. If you're um, interested, then uh, you could watch it. I uploaded it on YouTube and other social media platforms. And then um, I was uh, blessed enough to have a half day here. So I still get an opportunity to serve at a school and to uh, help others, teachers and students. And it's just what makes me feel alive. So I'm very um, appreciative of Day. And I want to append something very special real quick. Uh, the lunch bell rang. I was outside and a student walked by and said, hey, I read your book. Oh, yeah. I'm like, first one or second one? Yeah, he said the first one and I asked if he liked it and he said, yeah, he did with a big smile. So that guy bit made my day right there. That in the news interview, of course. And again, I just feel very blessed and fortunate to be able to find a voice where I could encourage a lot of people. I mean, uh, the reason for everything on like social media, my books and in person is to be an encouragement to pay forward to other people so that other people can, you know, believe in themselves and treat everybody with respect and uh, themselves with respect, disability or not. And, and I believe that's the reason I'm I'm living so I'm, I just enjoy putting it all forward and, and like it's not me it's, it's everyone and everyone should come together put aside competition and in some cases learn to disagree and that's the point of my life disability or not anybody could do whatever they set their heart to mind to do including the noble profession to be a teacher if they want I believe everyone uh, could do it if it's practical of course and that's the main message that I want to get across thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video